Have you ever wondered about the lesser known details surrounding the 1924 movie Greed? This classic film has left an indelible mark on cinema history, but are there any obscure facts or anecdotes that fascinate you? Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with this movie. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some captivating insights about Greed. This silent film, directed by Erich von Stroheim, is renowned for its ambitious scope and tragic production history. Adapted from Frank Norris' novel McTeague, it's a story of love, avarice, and moral decay. But beyond its plot, Greed is remarkable for its infamous use of real gold in its climactic scene, a decision that led to financial excess and logistical nightmares on set. Moreover, the film originally ran for over nine hours, making it one of the longest movies ever produced. Unfortunately, the studio forced Stroheim to cut it down to a more manageable length, leaving behind lost footage that remains a tantalizing mystery to film enthusiasts. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We're eager to hear your stories. Share your thoughts in the comments below and keep the conversation alive. Greed holds a unique place in cinematic history, and your insights can enrich our understanding of this classic. Erich von Stroheim, the director of the 1924 movie Greed, faced a challenge when shooting the final part of the film. MGM initially wanted to film these scenes in Oxnard, California, instead of the arduous and expensive trip to Death Valley. However, Stroheim insisted on going to Death Valley, and he eventually got his way. This decision played a significant role in shaping the movie's final look and feel. The harsh desert landscapes of Death Valley added a unique and authentic backdrop to the film, capturing the essence of the story. The dedication of the director and his insistence on shooting in Death Valley contributed to the film's overall impact and is a notable aspect of greed. Real locations in San Francisco and Oakland were used, even for interiors. The house depicted in the film, however, is not actually located on Polk Street, as it is in the story. Much of Polk Street had been remodeled around the time Stroheim took his company to San Francisco, and he decided that it looked too modern for the film. The company selected a building on the corner of Hayes and Laguna and completely took it over. The building still stands. This decision to use a different location due to the modernization of Polk Street added authenticity to the film's setting. The film Greed from 1924, directed by Erich von Stroheim, made the deliberate choice to use a real location to capture the essence of the story, even if it meant deviating from the original setting. This decision provides insight into the meticulous attention to detail in early cinema, emphasizing the importance of the physical environment in storytelling. The fact that the building chosen for the film still stands is a testament to the lasting impact of this cinematic masterpiece on the city's history. The 1924 movie Greed is renowned for its tumultuous editing history. Originally a 42 reel film, it was significantly trimmed down to just 10 reels for its final release. Director Erich von Stroheim wished to split it into two separate films, but producer Irving Thalberg disagreed. In the end, it was June Mathais who reduced it to its current concise form with 10 reels and added titles to bridge the narrative gaps. This editing process left the film in its truncated state as we know it today, showcasing the struggles between artistic vision and commercial constraints. Director Erich von Stroheim had filmed two additional storylines for the 1924 movie Greed. These subplots symbolized the two possible outcomes of the main storyline. One portrayed the elder neighbors of McTeague, who lived contentedly without avarice, and the other followed the Mexican Maria and her husband, who were even more consumed by greed, leading to their tragic end. Sadly, the studio ordered the removal of these subplots and many other scenes. The climax of the film, shot in Death Valley, became the subject of a silent newsreel. The journey to the location took a day from Keeler, California using a combination of cars and horses, one of which had greed stenciled on it. They had to ration water, and they endured scorching temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the August shoot. When the film needed editing down to two hours, the editor hired for the task seemed more concerned with his hat than the movie itself, according to Erich von Stroheim. In conclusion, Greed from 1924 had its share of challenges during production, with deleted storylines and grueling conditions during filming. 
It is a testament to the dedication and creativity of the filmmakers in bringing this classic to the silver screen. Greed, a 1924 movie directed by Erich von Stroheim, holds the distinction of being MGM's first feature-length film, a movie known for its daring and uncompromising storytelling, marked an important milestone in the history of American cinema. Greed is a powerful and influential piece of cinema that explores themes of greed and its destructive consequences in a straightforward and unflinching manner. In 1972, Arno Press published The Complete Greed of Erich von Stroheim, a book containing the entire script of the 1924 movie Greed. This book also featured a pictorial reconstruction, which included 348 stills from the film. Out of these, 138 were from the final release print, while 210 were from edited sequences that were presumed to be lost. This publication provided a unique insight into the film, and allowed fans and scholars to explore the movie's full script and scenes that were no longer available in the original film. This film, directed by Erich von Stroheim, is also known for its early use of a hidden camera in filmmaking. During a scene where the character Trina, played by Zasu Pitts, leaves a junk shop and discovers a dead body, the film crew used a hidden camera. Trina rushed into a real street, and real passers-by were unaware they were being filmed. This unexpected filming led to a crowd gathering, and even the police showed up, with a reporter reportedly calling in a murder to his editor. This technique was one of the earliest examples of using hidden cameras in cinema, and coincided with D.Z. Gavirdov's Kino Eye in 1924, which also employed similar hidden camera techniques for the first time. Additionally, the making of Greed was marked by studio interference. The studio ordered the director to cut the movie's runtime from his intended 4.5 hours to around 2 hours. To further economize, they burned the unused film reels to extract the expensive silver nitrate for recycling. Despite efforts to create an extended version of the film in 1999 using still photographs to replace the cut scenes, a complete version of Greed remains elusive, as most of the original film is considered lost. In conclusion, Greed from 1924 is a significant film in cinematic history due to its use of hidden cameras and the challenges it faced during production, resulting in lost footage and an incomplete version that has intrigued film enthusiasts for decades. As the credits roll and the curtains close on the 1924 cinematic masterpiece, Greed, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this film has had on your cinematic journey. The tale of lust and obsession, masterfully portrayed by director Erich von Stroheim, delves deep into the human psyche, revealing the insatiable desires that drive us. The characters' struggles and the tragic consequences of their actions are a mirror to our own complexities. Greed isn't just a movie, it's a window into our own souls. It prompts us to ponder the limits of our desires, the choices we make, and the consequences we face. Have you ever found yourself consumed by a passion or ambition? Have you witnessed the destructive power of unchecked greed in your own life or the lives of others? These questions linger and greed serves as a thought-provoking vessel for such contemplation. We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories of this timeless classic. Did a particular scene haunt your dreams or did the character's struggles resonate with your own? Share your favorite moments, your interpretations, or even your personal connection to greed. Your perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of this cinematic gem. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the heart of greed. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and we look forward to reading your reflections. Here's to the enduring power of film and the way it can shape our understanding of the human experience. Warm regards.